Okay, now that over there is really creepy. But if you get closer, something's not right with that boy. Hello everyone, I'm your host Akuma, and welcome back to another episode of Okami. Today, well, last episode actually, we explored a lot of this place. Oh hey, green birds that we haven't fed before. Yeah, here, have some seeds. Last time we got into our first boss battle, and we explored a lot of this forest after opening it up, uh, free from the curse. Today, um, there's still a few things I feel we have not seen, like, have we talked to that down there? Oh yeah, that's Usano. And I don't think we've got in here, actually, so I'd like to look around this area a little bit more, and then we'll focus on the story. And there's nothing in here. There's food in here. I stand corrected. Roasting has enhanced the flavor. So does that mean it does more? Oh, yes, it does, by five. And roasted fish. Tender and flavorful fish. And then I can't pick up these bales of wheat, unfortunately. There's probably going to be someone in here at night. But I have no idea who or where they might be otherwise. Okay, so down there... I mean, I guess it's really the story, but there's nowhere else I can really see to go. I've already fed you, so I'm going to ignore you, because you have nothing for me. Is there something up here? Yeah, we got that up there. And the chest. And then... deer? We did not feed the deer? I thought we had. Maybe I jumped over them the first time. I can see my doing that. Or my doing that. I can see my doing that. Who is my? My, my, my. It's Mother Mai Mai from uh, Link Between Worlds. Anyway, talking about other games that are irrelevant to what I'm currently playing. Uh, what do we have? What do we have? Deer has been fed. Smash up these pots, even though they won't give me anything especially new. There's another one. I thought I saw another one. I'm fine collecting all the seeds and whatnot. Uh, let's go into the cave, I guess? We don't really have anywhere else we're supposed to go that I'm aware of. Suta Ruins. To Suta? Oh, hi up there. That's a statue. This reminds me of, um... Skyward Sword. I don't remember the dungeon. I've only played the game through once. But it was the uh, light and dark dungeon. That's a pretty oddly shaped statue. Look at all that moss, but it must have been here for ages. What's up with that weird water? I don't think you want to go jumping in there for a ball. How about drop some lily pads so we can check it out? Well, I'm pretty terrible at jumping on lily pads, so I'm going to have to be a lot more careful. I feel like I want to save the game. But at the same time, I want to look around a little bit more. Uh, well, I get some things from this. What's that over there? That looks new. Oh, that's a grape. I mean, grapes are new. Let's pouch a little bit. Give me this thing. And... Cross the entire screen. Yes. Alright, so... Not a whole lot, actually. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and open this up. Another scroll for enhancing divinity. Contains useful information, but I don't know what about. I should really read those things someday. And a traveler's charm. Okay. So... We've got that over there. And another withered tree. Fortunately, I remember how to deal with these. It hasn't been that long. It has been a long time, but not that long. Wait, I should wait until the stars appear. That way it's guaranteed to work and I don't have to do it again. It's for my astral pouch, but really all I need out of that is the phrase. We go on that. Steal Soul Saki, because of course that's what we need the most. And then... Treasure chest? Oh, I wonder if this is actually going to be our first dungeon. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't know why I didn't put it together until now. Um, this will either explode or not let me in. I might have to open it some other way. Maybe I have to put out the torches first. Or maybe take them both out at the same time. Yeah, no. Okay, so well, maybe there's an interaction I can... Ah, okay. So I'll keep looking around this area first. There's got to be more out here that I can do. Can I knock these down? No, I can't. Should probably not be attacking the tree after I've already tamed it. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely going to be our first dungeon. Alright, I'll go ahead and save the game now. 
And for the record, I have switched back to the mirror as my primary weapon instead of the beads because although the beads are fun, I'm not really feeling it with them. I'd rather do like the strike combos instead of the whip combo. Okay, that was rude. Come back down here. Now I know I won't be able to get the fruit from this guy, but I can get the praise still, and that's the most important thing. Also, he'll be permanently tame, so that's another most important thing. This store looks different. It looks a lot like, um, impasse? No pass? From Yokai Watch. Hello? What's up with this white wall? Looks pretty solid. We're not getting any further. I mean, I don't think even you could do something about this. Let's find another way in for now. Okay, then. Oh, shoot. I wasn't going to stay in for very long, though. But that confirms that it is something we really should not do. And we've actually lost our first full health point. So, drop the lily pad. Whoa, hey there, what happened? Let me try that again and pay more attention. So, lily pad is destroyed. Okay then. I guess we won't be doing that. Is it going to be the same like over here as well? Or is that just a special spot? No, these things are getting wrecked. Okay. Alright, well, I'm feeling a little bit more excited to go through this place now, now that I know it's a dungeon. Hmm. Baby's first dungeon. Or Okami's first dungeon. Oh wait, that... Huh. There we go. Let's go ahead and take this guy out now, hope we still can. Get another point of health for it, and... Blooming enough. Fantastic. Alright. Next. Well, this water is clear. Okay. They're even going to do the whole collectible plant thing down here in this dungeon. I think not, sir. Please go away. And then bloom you. And then bloom again. No, oh, come on. Bloom again. Gonna make some of the praise bloom as well. There we go. I figured it would be a clover. It's not too much of a thing to worry about. At least I got it taken care of and there's no reason to go back up there. Move along, I suppose. Hello? Is there anything behind me? There's not, okay. I'm probably going to jinx myself, but it's being eerily quiet. Something has got to happen soon. There can't be no enemies in here. Well, not counting the trees. Burner specially designed to release only the purest aroma. And that's not going to do anything for me? I mean, Amaterasu's taken the form of a wolf with a good smell. I figured it might do something. Or I could just sell it, you know, whatever. You know, they're probably going to eventually start hiding enemies in these. It might be in my best health interest if I go ahead and cut them down whenever I see them. And they'll probably respawn too, so... When I go back into that first area, the things will come back, so it's really in my best interest to go ahead and wake them up whenever I get the... Ch or cut them up whenever I get the chance. There we go. Ah, fine. Alright. There might be something in there. And I know I'll go back to the first room eventually, so for now I'll move along. If I come back down, yeah, there's something over there. I just can't see it from where I am now. Okay, so first lily pad here. Do your thing. Next lily pad here. Do your thing. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and ignore that for now. I'll remember it's there, but I'll ignore it for now. Hopefully I can keep my bearings in this place. I'm usually really good at remembering how dungeons and games 
or at least in Zelda games, but most dungeons and games I have a good sense of direction. However, the art style in here is different enough that I kind of wonder. What's up with this round stone? It's much heavier than it looks. It doesn't look like it'll budge no matter how, how hard you push or pull it. I just remember that we saw the, um, the bear last episode too. I don't remember where that was. Holy cow, that's not a Niku Baba. It's a Demon Baba. Alright, you come here. Oh, what's what's up with the skull down there? Oh, I'm not, I'm not hurting this guy. Alright, come on down, come on down. Whoa! Okay, that was rude, sir. Actually. Hmm. I wonder, I wonder. Yes, bloom, and then... Okay, fine. How about if we... No, that's, that's wrong, hold on. We'll just do it like this, and then... Bomb you. Still no damage. Okay, now look for a chance to use your celestial brush. Still, this thing has sure got a tough bud. wonder if you could open its bum before you could attack it. Okay, so now I can make it bloom. Alright. And then... There we go. Is this a regular enemy or a mini boss? I guess mini bosses can turn into regular enemies later. <laughs> and some bosses can even turn into regular enemies later. Huh. Pretty. Are you gonna stay after the battle's over? No, you won't. Now this one's awake. Okay. I'll go ahead and push this down here, even though I'm not quite sure where it's gonna be heading to. But I'm concerned. I am slightly concerned about the fact that my health is not regenerating anymore. That's totally not creepy. Hello, we are the Koroks of the Deku, uh, whatever it's called. The Deku Trees Island, what's it called? The Sacred Forest? I don't know. Man, I need to play Wind Waker again. Again, referencing so many Zelda elements. This one was completely unintentional, though, I assure you. Oh, cute. Alright. So, how about if we... They did shrink up just after I used the bomb, so if I go ahead and use the bomb on this guy... Come on. Yes! They fly around. Where did the other one go? Oh, there they are. Okay, okay. Can I... Uh, no, 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 no. Get down, boy. Get down. Can you... No! Why do you do this? Okay, he's down. Yes! Gonna make you bloom. May the other guy not attack me while I'm... Come on. I got this, I got this, I don't got this. Dang it, oh wait, 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 yep. Got this. Very good, very good. Got this so good, yeah, we'll be fine. And he's down, he's down, okay. Oh wait, I could've knocked that back, ah, can I get this in time? It's on the ground. Yeah! And then, oh yeah. We good. We got this so good. Bam, bam. Also, I have equipped my rosary as a sub weapon, and I know how to use that now. I tried it out right before the episode started. It was pretty fun. Oh, our poor bonus. Uh, we got a log. A mushroom log. Is there a point to the mushroom log? Hello. Getting a load of the size of these mushrooms. I kind of feel sorry for them, though. It's so gloomy here. I bet a little sunshine is all it would take to perk them up. Alright, so... Where's the... That's plenty of sunshine. What are you talking about? I mean, I'll draw one anyway, just because I can. It's actually a power I forgot I had. Ooh, yeah. That's how I figured it would happen. Alright. Thank you for that. 
I'm gonna look around a little bit more though. Is there anything hiding on the edges? Not much of what I can see. Alright, I could have gone here before I fought those guys, so... I'm gonna get this chest. Whatever comes out of this thing. I mean, it's pretty much a chest. It's a... A natural chest. Please, nobody make any lady chest jokes. <laughs> I guess I just did. Anyway, ahem. <clears throat> wow, you can jump really high, I just noticed. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah. Yeah. I see you over there. Uh-huh. Hello. <laughs> Smash your head into the rock, because that makes sense. And then... That was terrible, but it worked, and I will accept this. And that worked too. What have we got? Oh, a whole bunch of grapes. Why would grapes come from a rock? I don't know. Okay, let's see if I can get them both with this. We could not. But we have more in here? Okay. First, let's try to put one big one right here and see if we can get them both at the same time. I think we can do it. They, they look accurate enough. What I should probably do is check my map. That's the wrong button for the map. And my treasures are gone. That wasn't very nice. Okay. Map, 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 map. To pseudo ruins. Okay, so it is definitely a dungeon. So is the final boss going to be on the top floor or the bottom floor with a statue? Okay, okay, um. I'm trying to push ahead too fast. Let's go ahead and destroy this one. Well, I think. Oh, thank you for blowing up immediately. I highly appreciate that. Oh, that wasn't that where we were supposed to go? Yeah, I was going to go through that wall and get the clover, but now I can't. And that makes me sad. Okay, so... One there. Perfect. <laughs> well, that's a huge... Gourd. Come on, hit that thing. Close enough. Alright. I'm pretty sure those don't drop anything if you cut them up, so... Don't care. Oh, that one was inside the rock. And another one. I was under the impression that this game was going to be a lot of... Adventure elements. Like, just travel around and have... A fantasy adventure. I'd never even considered the fact that we could have dungeons in, the, or dungeons in this game. That's not suspicious at all. Oh wait, are we on the statue? I feel... We might be on the statue? Maybe we're inside the statue. Like we'll run around the back way. Totally not suspicious. Okay, so there's the statue now. Alright. I see more up there. And that hold on, hold on, hold on. So Hmm. Okay. Just putting things together. Amy, hold on a second. My nose has felt all itchy since those huge mushrooms back there. Dang it! Oh, really, Isun? Really? Why Why you gotta do this to me? Yeah! Thank you for that. That's exactly what we needed. Okay, we're, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Things are fine. Things are okay. We're safe, right? Why do you have to go do this to me? Okay, soon. Don't do it to me. Ah, uh, what? Hey, this door has some sort of weird lock on it. A very weird lock. That's no ordinary lock. I sent strong evil at work here. <clears throat> oh, okay. <laughs> One of those times where I wish I was still doing face cam. Um, I guess I have to go down. 
Can I make that? Probably not. Oh yeah. Well, more money, I guess. I mean, it's, it's probably a bad thing to be destroying all of these idols for money. Get you guys gone. And not sure what that is. We can keep on going down. Maybe I can just do a regular jump. Yeah, I can. Almost could not. Alright, and then... Whoop! That was... Perfect! Yeah! Okay, and then... Come on. Let's, let's go down. Very cautiously. Um... Hello? Anybody? Yay for grape. Take care of you. And is this the other side of that door? <laughs> I am Blockhead. You don't say. I guard this place so that all shall pass? What? Uh, wait. Make that none shall pass. Do you really think you can penetrate my airtight defense? Ha, impossible. Nothing can harm this body of mine. Of course, there are those weak points of mine. A clean blow there would slay me in an instant. But I wouldn't be foolish enough to expose such a weakness. Now be on your way. None shall pass. But it kind of looks like you're cracked, like right here. And maybe also bomb would do the trick. I don't know. Oh wait, then again. What if we do it like this? Aw oh, man, I was hoping we could topple him over with that. Okay. That's a terrible circle, but... Uh, something just happened. Okay, circle. Oh. Well, I'm trying. <laughs> what if it's... Come on there. He's also got a cobweb on, in his hair. Why are we not slashing anymore? I have no idea. Um, maybe if we... There we go! I will reveal it on my own. Hmm. Hello. So, here and here. Huh? Are my weak points so obvious? I have failed, but let it be known, I died a warrior's death. You know, you didn't have to die, but I guess he felt obligated to stay. Hmm. He didn't seem like an enemy to me, he seemed like an okay guy. Hello, you're not a scroll. What are you? Some sort of sandal? This looks like an exercising arrow for driving away evil but its tip is shaped like a key. In any case, I do sense its divine power for driving away evil. Okay, so we'll just take this upstairs. <laughs> Carrying it like a dog would, of course. Come on there. Get that fair ball. All right, don't fall off, don't fall off. I feel like I'm gonna fall off. What's the risk of falling off here? How careful should I be? This I don't know. Also, it looks like yeah, kind of staying on all right. Yeah, we're good. Oh no! <laughs> Evil purged! There's some ton of action in there too. Anyway. Oh wait, actually, we've been playing for a long time now. I better go ahead and call it the end of the episode here. Thanks everyone for joining me for Okami today. Next time we'll go check out... Uh, what well, looks like a blue scroll enemy, and head further into the dungeon. See you then. Take care. Uh huh. And this leads me to. Oh, there you are. I look forward to destroying you all.